Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they come in 0-3 and in desperate, desperate need of a win. And as a team, you start to feel a little bit snake bit. They need something good to happen right now so they know it's not just them. They think they have the makings of a good team. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. This one taken just inside the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by their quarterback standing at 6-2 from Eastern Illinois. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. And coming off of an early season open week, and in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was, he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It was too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. On second down and four, Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Two times, two times. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. He's going to wind up and air it out. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Cardinals now for their first drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. 
Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. On second and inches, Murray nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa able to record his fifth sack of the season. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Throwing is Murray on third down. And he's going to go down again. DeForest Buckner able to record his fifth sack of the season. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Here comes Pettis on the return. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at the 45. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 20. A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Gallman. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. On second down, this is Edmonds. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Gallman will run it. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41 yard line. And here are the offensive starters for Arizona. And I think we'll see a renewed sense of urgency out of this team this week because they have to make sure they don't waste this home stand. They had a home game last week, lost it. Now they've got the second straight. They've got to take advantage of it, get a win before they head out on the road. From the 41, Murray. That's complete to Cobb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Murray now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. On first and 10, here's Murray. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. 
A well, look now at the defensive starting lineup for the 49ers. And they're a tough unit to throw against, currently fourth toughest in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Looking to throw on second down. Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. This one complete to the running back, Chase Edmonds. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? This one taken from the seven. And a good effort on the return there. Gets them across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Garoppolo now, first down throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And he finds his target, it's Marquise Goodwin. And he's gonna have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Throwing on second and eight, Garoppolo, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. That'll be complete to Breda. Easy work. It's easy work, and it's coming again. So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. 
has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Gorman, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. And to the 46, he goes in no further, so he is well short of the first down marker. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 20, and he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Now the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. Off the play fake to McKinnon, it's Garoppolo. And his throw here is incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's Garoppolo. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot. Well, the Cardinals bring pressure and they get home. It's blocked. And they are going to take possession of the football. Now, so much for pinning him really deep. Short punt could have pinned him inside the 10. Now great field position the other way. It's never good when you're punting the ball and your eyes see the ball go back behind you <laughs> no. in however form, whether it's over your head or to the side, never good. Now it becomes a race to get to the football so they don't pick it up and take it all the way. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And he's had his chances in this game. He just hasn't been able to find any daylight so far. Patience, patience, patience. And that's the hard part for a runner because they expect every run to be a big one for something to pop. So they have to sometimes go through the struggles before it happens for them later in the game. But again, I give credit to the rest of the team. They've worked around. And he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kyler Murray, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals push further out in front. But this was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait. Oh, it's open. 
time to hop foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points. Straight line. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes our score 17-0. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, a I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy a bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards it's a six yard pickup but it gets them to second and four on second down and four garoppolo quick hitter here it's complete and they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 43. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. On first down, here's Breida. Credit the tackle to D.J. Swearinger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On second down, a run with Breida. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. Touchdown, 49ers! Dante Pettis, his first touchdown on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Obviously, Brandon, they couldn't get it all back with just one score, but that touchdown chips into the lead, and now it makes the comeback a little bit more manageable. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And it's 17 7. So the drive there took six plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you oh, now Murray has it stripped. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. He had gained really good yardage. That's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you've got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the football, and protect yourself from extra hits as well. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. 
get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Garoppolo hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. Garoppolo, he's going to give this to Breed on the draw. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. From the 22, Garoppolo. He finds McKinnon, complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In yeah, a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well. And where that he's into the clear. The 20, 10, touchdown, Cardinals. And he is Abella. His second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals are able to show off their quick strike ability. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jarek McKinnon making his way back onto the field. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, well, the conclusion we draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. And he'll get nothing out of that one. I call it no gain there on the first down play. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Now a pass dumped off to his running back and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 
two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The sorry, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. From the 25 on second down. Garoppolo, Trent Taylor, the one he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Garoppolo, the tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Garoppolo to his tight end Kittle for a Niner first down. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. A 16-yard touchdown as his guys are back within a single score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Now gold for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that drives seven plays in length. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. This is taken near the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Right, they gonna need some therapy after this. Check 99. To throw on third down. Murray, he'll buy some time right. He can run for it, and he will. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you, too, in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. 
Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show them one thing, hit them with something else. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. You, 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 you. From the gun on third down, Murray able to find Isabella. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. Here's Gallman. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On second and 12, Murray. And a quick throw here, that's complete. That throw good for only a couple, it brings up third down. On third down, Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, Actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. They'll begin with a run by Gallman. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Sometimes you get just a little over eager defensively when you've got people backed up because the mentality is to attack take the ball away, or at worst, just keep them backed up there for your own offense. They actually use their aggressiveness against them on that one and hit them big. Absolutely. Had them pinned on the two. Not anymore. The tackle there by Richard Sherman. Another carry now for Edmonds. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Come on, boys, come on. 
from the gun on third down. Murray, this one caught by Isabella. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. This is Goldman. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Draw play, Edmonds. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down. Needed the 40, but he's a yard or two shy. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. Second and five now. Garoppolo looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Brita, he'll try the right side. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second and nine, Garoppolo, his throw incomplete. He was looking for Trent Taylor there, and it'll bring up third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it with the error side, you know? And in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. The completion good for three and it's second down. On second and seven, Murray. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Murray now, 14 out of 17, 82%, and it's first and 10. Throwing on first down is Murray. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. On second down now, Edmonds. And look at this, for the second straight play, the 49er defense drops him for a loss. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. 
First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. On the draw, this is Goldman. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your court? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. Two yards, good enough for a first. Garoppolo now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 30 on second down, Garoppolo, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Garoppolo looks to throw, and that is incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have... And look at this! They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you gotta be super careful. Gotta be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo, and that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Garoppolo now. He finds Taylor, complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 18. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now the ball comes loose. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And he'll get this one up to the 26. 
They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Edmonds. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop on, by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Garoppolo. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here we go. So in the Cardinal territory check, now. Check, it's three. first and 10 at the 36. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And they'll get him down right around the 16. From the 16, Garoppolo, man open, it's Goodwood. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Niners on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This time, it's third and three. Throwing now is Garoppolo and almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They run for it with Breida. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. So give him the first down, first and goal after a pickup of four, and the decision to go for it pays off. They'll try and run for it on first and goal, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Garoppolo, and he will find his receiver, Pettis, for a 49ers touchdown. Dante Pettis with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game, as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? <laughs> you know, one by... land two by C. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start 
This defense, they made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. Have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? And rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, that's going to be caught by Kirk. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's now a loose football. The ball comes out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Well, let's see now, Charles. That's seven turnovers between last week and this week. Three here in this game, four in last week's game. You know I do my research, right? And I go all the way back to the best coaches that have ever been in this game. And all of them started with ball security in some form or another, understanding that taking care of the ball was the key to winning games. They can't believe what they're seeing right now because they spend all this time on it with the fundamentals, taking care of it, tucking it away, and they're not doing it. A handoff to Brita to begin the drive. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. They run again with Breida. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 44. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. Yeah, that one going to be knocked away and incomplete. Oh, Patrick Peterson, the shutdown corner, was there on the coverage. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds, and they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. A nice job of eluding the pressure there. Scrambling for 11. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. On the return is Pettis. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To throw is Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. 18 yards, first down Niners. This is Breda. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. 
And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass <laughs> like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're gonna lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35 to throw is Murray. Obviously a big, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Nick Bosa in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Edmonds. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He's been terrific so far. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dial. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a here touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game, because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition, Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Murray with a third and long. Eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it. But they turned it back over to him, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done. Now part two. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. The tally there, minus two yards. Brings up third down. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. Taking a shot for Samuel. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. 
even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own. Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Touchdown, Cardinals. Still trying to catch our breaths from the ending to this one, though. You, when we went to break before overtime, we said we were going through scenarios, what could happen. I didn't see a block punt returned to win this affair. No, not at all. And I'll just tell you, if I'm coaching, that's never going to happen. Because when I get to overtime and I have a chance to get the ball back, I am not ordering a punt block because I don't want to run into the punter and have them get the ball back and beat me that way. I want the football. So give him a lot of credit for saying, let's go get it. And that's how they ended the game. So for the Cardinals, they move back over 500 at three and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Niners, they'll sink now to 0 and four. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. So for our entire crew,